I'm out with Kurgan and Lobo. It's about 7 a.m. or so. Overcast. Look like we're gonna get some rain, and it's uh, pretty humid out right now. That's Kurgan there. He's a 23-week-old uh, Blue Bay Shepherd. And that right there is Lobo. He's a two-year-old uh, German Shepherd. Kurgan. Boy. Almost wish it'd hurry up and rain and cool things off a bit. It's pretty hot and sticky out right now for being early morning. This way. Kurgan. We're on a ridge right now above the Mississippi floodplain, which is uh, down there. We're gonna go down. We're gonna 
head down there. Bo, down. Come on. Good boys. Wow, the river is pretty low today. little fire pit here somebody set up been here for a few years I've had a few fires here before to an area I like to call the uh, Agarta Cave Opening. a uh, big eagle's nest right by here so you see a lot of them flying around this particular spot. Uh, leave the bird poop alone. Come on. Don't roll in the dead fish either. One. Now, not a lot of people know about this. That right there is the entrance into Agarta. Now I say that tongue-in-cheek, I don't really think it's the entrance to Agarta. I just uh, have always been fascinated with stories uh, of Agarta, Shambhala, and other inner stories from various cultures. and That's why I call it that. No, I've been up... Uh, I've been up in there several times, especially when I was younger. Now before somebody asked me, why don't you climb up in there and get some footage of it? 
because uh, the way in there isn't from down here. You actually have to go, there's an upper ridge above it and then a trail that comes down and it's kind of tricky but then you work your way down and in. And it goes back uh, very far. See, there's a rope hanging down in front of it there. See if I can get a footage of us uh, both in there. No, I don't go up there because uh, I've got two dogs with me. And uh, there's no way they could safely make the climb down into that. But again, this is kind of a beautiful little cove area here. And again, it's a uh, very cool cave to explore. Again, it goes way, way back. Uh, you can take it quite a ways. Kind of a little cove area here that's uh, kind of hidden off of the river. Again, not many people know about it. I like to come here uh, various times of the year because it's uh, constantly changing with the seasons the way this spot looks. Isn't that beautiful, all that moss? I don't know, I think it is. Maybe sometime I'll come down here without my dogs and shoot some footage uh, in there just to show people what it looks like. It's pretty neat. Again, I use the term agarta, tongue in cheek. For those who don't know, Agartha is supposed to be a uh, mythic uh, inner earth world that's uh, populated by humans. Several uh, cultures around the world talk about it, Native American cultures and such. Cultures from around the world talk about uh, worlds within the inner earth. Again, I've always been fascinated by those stories since I was a kid. I love mythology. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not sure why there's a beef bone there. That's kind of odd. Boat on the river. Hope you guys enjoyed our uh, trip to the Agarta Cave. If you uh, like what you saw, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I've got lots of videos there of my wilderness hikes with my dogs. I've got some mukbang videos of my dogs. I've got several playlists of my Renaissance Bulldogs. Well, I shouldn't say several, two. If that kind of stuff interests you, showing them doing personal protection training and such. One. There's a dead fish up here, so I want to keep him from uh, rolling in that. Come on. No, I'll leave the dead fish alone. Go on. Go down below and uh, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up and notification button if you liked it a lot. That's all, folks. Bye. Catching anything? Good luck. We used to catch a lot of stuff by the mouth of the Minnehaha Creek there. That's all, folks. Bye.